those of you who are here, I actually prepared some of our this time. <laughs> Aaron and I would like to thank you all for joining us on this joyous occasion, celebrating the marriage of our daughter. So, I'd like to recognize and thank some of those who have led our family to this day. First and foremost, Steve and Linda Broom. Dad, I would be nothing without you and your hours of counsel, encouragement, and patience. Thank you, and I love you. My brothers, Mark and Paul, I love you both dearly and you honor me with your presence today. I'm the man and father I am because of you. Judy Albers, I'll never be able to repay you for the love and support that you have afforded me in my life. Thank you. Melissa and Ray Ashabor, thank you. Ray, you entered Madison's life at the best of times. She was about 13-ish. That must have been fun. You did a good job, sir, and I thank you. I've adopted the saying in our house, through Aaron Broom, all things are possible. And it couldn't be more true than today. Thank you for everything you have done to get us here today. You are the rock of our family and the girls and I love and cherish you dearly. Aaron will wear you out, but she can get it done. <laughs> There are some who could not be here tonight, but without whom this night would not be possible. Annette and Ray Bizarre, Joy and Hoyish Broom, Lois and Mac Malone, thank you and we honor you. On December 30th, 1999, a baby boy was born in Stillwater. His mother told me that it was a beautiful day. Her labor was smooth. And at 6.30 a.m., a little boy came into this world. She looked down at him, and he was perfect. His name was Reggie. <laughs> to understand Reggie, you have to understand that I'm the father to three daughters and the uncle to seven nieces. It wasn't until later in my life that that streak was broken with Ryan, TJ, Joseph, and Slade being added to our family. So my brothers and I resolved early on that all of these boys who came around wanting time with our daughters would all be named Reggie. No, the Reggie thing evolved over time into an innocent joke between brothers, but it served as a constant reminder that as a father, I too needed to earn my place every single day and to expect nothing less from the young men who may seek to court the young women in my life. Carter, you've proven yourself worthy and more. You've won the love of my daughter and I cannot be more proud of her choice in you. This is just the beginning. The beginning of a lifetime of love, joy, and challenges unknown but certain to come. Madison has her mother's brains and her daddy's temper. I hope you pray a lot, a lot. <laughs> Carter, I've searched my soul for advice to give you on this day. Mostly turn down your radio, pull your pants up, sit up straight, cut your damn hair. <laughs> Those are all near the top of the list. I eventually settled in on one thing. Surround yourself with good men. Good men like Steve, Mark, and Paul have been for me. If you've not already, seek out your good men. They will lift you up. Good men will tell you when you're wrong. Good men will guide you when you are right. But Madison thinks you're wrong. Good men will put parts for your Mustang on their credit card, enabling you to pay in untraceable cash. Good men will always care more about your tomorrow than their today. When you find good men, talk to them often. Be honest with them. Tell them when you fail and tell them when you succeed. Pride has no place amongst men seeking counsel. 
and men who do not seek counsel will always be left wishing they had. Madison is my second favorite daughter. This is tough. <laughs> not as tough as when Paxton gets married, but still really, really tough. <laughs> be nice, sis. Be nice. Live your life with grace. Place your husband above all things, and it will be repaid. Today you surrender yourself. You surrender yourself to the love and the faith that you have in your husband. Hold steadfast, stole, hold steadfast to that faith. You may never understand the confidence and strength that this faith provides to your husband. It's beyond words. Men find strength through the strength of their partner's deference to them. Deference is hard and it must be respected. Put pressure on him by bending to his will. Empower him. If he lets you down, Uncle Mark has friends in low places. <laughs> I have confidence in this wedding and I bless it willingly. These two young people have shown me that they have respect for the challenges ahead, the struggles that are to come, and the love for each other that will be required to overcome them. I love you, and please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings that you have given us. Please watch over the union of this young couple as they set out upon their lives. It will be harder than it is easy. I pray that it's longer than it is short. Give them strength. Give them trust in each other. Watch over them, bless them, protect them. Fill their hearts with joy when they need it the most. So I pray in Jesus' name.